a midweek melee in the NAIA sees two top five opponents go head to head in Lawrenceville, Georgia. This would be the two previous national champions in Georgia Gwinnett versus Tennessee Wesleyan. GGC gets the scoring going early as Braxton McGuire laces a double down the left field line. Two Grizzlies come in to score. Blazo Saban hustles all the way from first base, gets the green line around third, and a head first dive into home puts Georgia Gwinnett on top two to nothing. Miles McKissick would get the scoring going in the third with a sneaky safety squeeze. He beats out the throw at first, and then Blazo Saban grabs a bat and does some damage. A two RBI single through the left side gives Georgia Gwinnett a five to nothing lead and all the momentum would be in that Grizzly dugout, but things would change on this play right here. With nobody out and two runners aboard in the fifth, a botched double play ball ends up into the outfield. A run comes in to score for Tennessee Wesleyan in the at bat, but then seven runs would be plated in the fifth inning alone, capped off by a Parker Snitted RBI single through the right side of the infield as Tennessee Wesleyan would take a two run lead, but George Gwinnett would battle back. They'd claw two runs out in the bottom of the fifth inning. Thanks to a sacrifice fly to center field, GGC would lock things up at seven. Tennessee Wesleyan would have had a run in the seventh and the eighth as there's Cale Webster with an RBI of his own to make it nine to seven. Webster's tagged out his second, but the damage was done and Wesleyan would not look back. They'd put a crooked number up in the ninth as Braxton Turner delivers a two RBI single and takes the final exclamation point on the ball game. Tennessee Wesleyan would get 12 outs out of its bullpen on the backside with flamethrowers Liam Doolin and LaVon Reynoso to finish off Georgia Gwinnett and win by a final score of 13-7. to 7.